So on Saturday, once a month where I live, there's the local market. Lovely. And it's great. You know, you can go down there, you know, you buy $8 fudge. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> and you buy hand-sewn dog collars and those kind of things. And so it's locals that sort of come in and they... Build up a stall. Very it's cute. quite a big deal. That's cute. But there's only... And it's getting bigger and bigger. And there's one guy who runs the coffee van. That's the lucrative. That's it. One guy. Oh, God. And there's always a massive queue. Of course. Because it's first thing Saturday morning. Yeah. Everyone's out there walking their dogs. It's fabulous. Um, but he, on Saturday, had had it. And now this guy <laughs> would be in his late 60s. Is that a, that's old for barista? I think it, and that's what I love. He said he is a genuine geriatric barista. <laughs> and uh, first of all, as soon as I got there, I realised things were akimbo because there was a sign that had clearly been written in lipstick that said uh, "no soy milk." Oh, hadn't taken his deliver of, delivery of bon soy. Oh, so where I live, particularly, there's a lot of soy milk drinkers. Yep. Okay. okay, a lot of almond milk drinkers. Gotcha. A lot of that vibe. Not many people on dairy where I live. Okay, and so um, straight away he's obviously pretty cranky about that because he keeps just stabbing at the sign when people order their coffee. Oh, I love a point. Just at the like sign. not even talking. <laughs> I love it. And then one woman asked him for a soy latte, and he just made her an espresso and gave it to her. <laughs> but, but but the moment came as I was standing there waiting for my coffee order. Um, a woman came up and bought four coffees back to him, and you just you don't you just you just cop it and drink it, yeah, right? So she put it up on the counter and she said, "I ordered cappuccinos," and he just looked down at her and he took he wrenched the coffee out of her tray, put it on the counter grabbed the chocolate sprinkles, threw chocolate across all of the whatever he'd made, handed it back and said, there you go, cappuccinos. Yes. I looked at my daughters and I was like, that is... Epic. Yes. Because they were like, I don't know what they look like, like cups of tea. Like, I don't think they were coffee. And he just, and he threw it at, at like, he at, like, at a distance, threw the oh. sprinkles across it. Some of it splattering the woman in the face. Yeah, good. And she just. I'm on his side so far. And she picked it up and just backed away yeah, really good. slow. Good. And I just stood there thinking, well done, mate. Yeah. Because there are so many baristas out there who have to cop it. Yep. And I just feel like this guy just made us one small I, I stand. He picked up his chocolate sprinkles and just said, he and just <laughs> made it into a cappuccino. And uh, I just thought, like, yes. Yeah, I agree with six, that guy. I mean, this guy's 65 in a coffee van. Do you think his life turned out how he planned? I was going to just question his... <laughs> this is what he thought he would be doing. I did want to have a look at his super balance. I worry. <laughs> I think he lost everything in the it, great crash of whatever. Uh, whatever. Because or... this guy did not plan at 65 to be serving people coffee out of a van by a river yeah. and having to put chocolate sprinkles and running out of he's, soy milk. He's gone too hard on the Bitcoin and now he's got to live in the coffee van. So I salute you, geriatric barista. I salute you. I salute you this morning. <laughs> Today FM Breakfast, 104.1 Today FM.